Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris and you can call me Chris and it's late. It's, I, I don't know why I'm making a video right now as it's late at night and I can't sleep because I'm an insomniac with depression and anxiety. Triple threat. I'm dropping my album now, right now. Go to Spotify. I'm <laughs> just kidding, it's not happening. Anyway, Pete and I decided to match our outfits. It's just kind of awkward. I think I'm wearing a best. No, me, you, okay. He's wearing it best, sorry. Anyway, we're watching, <laughs> so sidetracked, ADHD too. Quadruple threat. Anyway, we're watching a man who loves balloons. And as you know from my last video, if you watched it, if you haven't watched it, what are you doing? Go watch it. We figured out that I am terrified of balloons. I've known this for my entire life. I really don't like them. Mostly don't like when they pop. I hate it. I don't even like touching balloons. The fact that there's air pressure in there and they could just at any time, Ooh. I hate it. So I thought this might be a good video to watch. So let's just get into it. My name is Julius. I'm 62 years old and I'm addicted to balloons. <sighs> Julius, nice to meet you. We wouldn't get along, sir. We would not get along. They're beautiful. Oh, it's so big. That's what she said. Oh, I just had an anxiety attack. Smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, oh. I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I want- Do you, Julius? Do you know that? It's my love for them that brings them to life. It's my love for them that brings them to life. It's kind of poetic. I kind of love that. Can you just do that with any inanimate object? I love you. I love you. I love cup. I love cup. I love lamp. I love this cup now, so uh, <laughs> let's continue. My first reaction was, wow, balloons. That's kind of strange. <laughs> that guy's so nice. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> you say so, Julius. Call 911. Been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It addicted to balloons. As a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons. Stopped. And can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. Julius, listen, if you ever invite me to a dinner party. I'm busy. I can't come. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. Oh, Julius, you would love me then. Look at me, I'm a ghost. You can see right through me. What's behind me? A chair. How'd you know? Because I'm see-through. The round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Oh. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's... I can understand that. It's like all symmetrical and shit. I get it, Julius. I get it. Prefers <laughs> blondes or brunettes, you know? No, not the same. He even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This. If you were to ask me, hey, Chris, if you could draw us a picture of what anxiety is, what would that be? And I would say a room filled with balloons. This room <laughs> is anxiety. <laughs> I would rather have homicidal clowns staring at me in bed than uh, be in this room. I try to alternate it to uh, keep all the colors, you know, uh, of the rainbow in yeah. there. I like Julius. Julius is inclusive with his balloons. I don't know. <laughs> One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. It's very... Oh, Delicate, that's the big one. Uh, and soft careful! And careful! Careful! It's probably one of the softest balloons I've got. Does Julius, you know, like, is he ever, it's a soft balloon. Is there any hard balloons? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll go to my room. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy. I sleep in my balloon room every night. What? Oh my God, it's a room of nightmares. As this man has no fear. I respect that. When I wake up oh. in the morning, it's like, wouldn't you just like wake up and your hair would just be like, <laughs> Oh my God, I had the best sleep last night. <laughs> I could zap. This guy's carpet in this room too. This guy's just, this guy is, has a death wish. Mm. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. There it is. There, oh, look at that image. Oh, that's, that's a, that's a shot right there. I can imagine the camera guy's just like, can you just like hold a balloon? Yeah, just like caress it, but like a little lower and just like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way you can take a lot of it. Oh, am I on the right? Am I on YouTube right now? Is this YouTube? He takes a 12 inch balloon and only pumps it up to 11 so it can take room for abuse. Oh my God. It's like 50 shades of balloons. That could be a book. I'm going to write that book. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. Hugging and it. it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like okay. to hug and kiss the woman that you love? Yeah, Julius, same thing. Lunar is a nickname for people with a sexual 
fetash for balloons. Lunar. I'm not that. I know one thing I can tick off my list finally. That's a problem that I don't have. Lots of people out there that feel the same way oh, as I do. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Two of, I don't like feet and I don't like balloons. That was a lot. But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers. <gasps> Don't do that again. I don't even like hearing it. Apparently, somebody wrote in my comments and if I find the comment, I'm gonna put it right here. Somebody put that that's an actual thing. I do read my comments, by the way. I'm always reading. But she said, I don't know, it'll be here. I'll, I'll find it. I'm, now I'm determined I'm gonna find that comment. But it's like a thing where you're scared of loud noises, like abrupt loud noises. And I have that. So I gotta take Lunar off the list, but now I'm another thing. So just adding shit to my list and shit. Aroused by popping balloon. And you got your non-poppers. Stop caressing the Nepal of the balloon, please. Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. Aww. My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. Okay, well now I feel bad, sorry. After she left, I just cried myself to sleep. He heard the balloon pop and then he cried himself to sleep because he doesn't like when balloons pop. Okay, maybe me and Julius can get along. There's hope for us yet, Julius. The sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius <gasps> and he even rescues Same. balloons he believes to be in danger. Yeah, that's a little far, but I, I appreciate that he doesn't like the popping. I could vibe with Julius. I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give them a second chance. Why am I feeling bad for balloons now? I don't think I'll ever be able to look at balloons the same, you know? I'll like look at it and it's if it starts deflating, I'm like, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna feed it air. I would need a few balloons. Air, yeah, sure. Carbon dioxide, I don't know. <laughs> but Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with many people. It's the probably best. No, is my family. Oh. My wife thinks it's strange. Wait, wait, hold the brakes. <laughs> Press pause. He has a hua, but he sleeps in his balloon room alone. He's having an affair with balloons. Oh my god, the scandal. Can you believe this? Can you balloon this? No, that doesn't work. Julius's wife refused to participate in filming. Shocking. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points to that there is a, a, a problem. <laughs> If you're psychologist, psychiatrist, I can't speak English. I think you're right. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons. It's not hurting anybody. It's true. It's not dangerous. I don't know about that, Julius, but okay. Look at that shot. God, the photographer in this. He just having a field day with Julius and Julius was there for it. Julius was like, is this good? How about this? Puts the balloon up to his face, looks through the room. I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue. How convenient is that? He's an addiction counselor? Let's see, does he have a number? Because I... And convince Julius to see a therapist. Good. So I've heard through the family a little talk yeah. about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. So what kind of questions do you have? Aww. What do you get out of your balloons emotionally? When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for me. Really? Yeah. At least he's, he's being like really nice about it and that's good. I'm sure it's a thing, there's probably another name for it where people like are in love with inanimate objects and stuff. And I feel like that comes from childhood trauma, which clearly happened for him at four years old. Wow, no judgment. Cool attachment to these balloons, maybe sexually. There's sexual overtones to it. Overtones? Under, over, is overtones a word? Undertones, overtones. Oh, I'm learning new things from Julius. Eh? Who would've thought? What is it that gives you that sense? Is it a smell or a feel? It's all of it, it's all of it. It's the feel, the smell. You know what, I kinda get that sometimes. I walk into like a Canadian tire, or like a like a, like a, like a, 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 a store with tires in it, like brand new tires, and I just like walk in and <laughs> Oh yeah, rubber. I get it, I mean not to that extent. I, I let I leave, I don't even buy anything. I just walk into those stores and <laughs> I need counseling. You ever think that maybe Aww. there's something wrong? Nope. <laughs> Me one ever. <laughs> My family asked me. So like, you think like, maybe you should start seeing a therapist again? Nope. I'm fine. I'm dropping my new album, Insomniac, Anxiety, Depression. Go check it out. <laughs> no, that's nothing. Nope. If you feel like it, you have to keep things hidden, especially something like this. Yeah. There's obviously a problem. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. <laughs> nope. Next. <laughs> uh, hell, I've been doing it too long. Wow. So how long have you been doing how many like years all together do you have collecting these balloons oh collecting them i started when i was about eight okay all right so you're 62 now so that's what 
40. Wait, I wanna do the math. 62, eight. Eight to 62. Eight to 62. Eight, negative, three. I don't know, there's a reason I'm a YouTuber. God damn it, I don't know math. 40 years. Wow. 40, wow. wait, what? 40 plus eight to 48, but he was eight years old. Oh my God. <laughs> God, it's like one of those math questions that like, you have 52 watermelons when you go to the store and a burglar comes in and takes 85 of them. How many crumpets are on the shelf? <laughs> I don't know. It's quite a bit of energy, time and energy. Do you spend a lot of time and energy during the day with them? No. Or <laughs> just sometimes come up, go up and... Well, sometimes I'll rescue them, like, like at a... You know, car dealers. Oh wow, he's like coming out with his full story here. I kind of love. I kind of like this guy though. That's talking to him. He's he's handling it very well. I love that. If they're still floating, I'll let them float until they fall. If they're already, you know, fallen, then I'll untie them and powder them, put them in a bag. I don't know why, but I'm picturing this as like a, a murderer situation. It's just like if they're still alive, I won't uh, I won't touch them. But once they're dead, that's when I'm coming in. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I watch too much Dateline. When you when you say powder, them, what? talcum powder. Talcum powder. Talcum. That keeps them from, from sticking together. Okay. All right. Balloon science. Bill Nye the science guy. Pow, 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 pow. Do they ever go bad or anything? Oh like yeah, if I don't take care of them. Go bad. So when you I take know. care of them, it's involving talcum powder and... And desiccant in a seal meal bag. Y'all, I'll be showing you. Okay. Could you like re-pump up a balloon? You know what I mean? Could you re... I'm gonna stop doing that hand motion. Could you... You can't like open it back. I'm gonna stop talking. Never mind. And I've got some that's over 40 years old. What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Is it... Does it cost a lot of money doing this? No. Balloons? Dude, I just bought balloons from the dollar store. Guess how much they were. Guess. Yes, a dollar. People that spend more money uh, buying guns. <laughs> Why is that the analogy, guns? Balloons or guns? There's no in between. Talking to somebody about it. I don't have a problem. Right, no. right. So why be concerned? Everybody's trying to make me think like I got a problem. I yeah. don't. Yeah. You know what? I think me and Julius would get along really well. I don't have a problem. Leave me alone. I've only slept two hours and three days. I can't. I'm fine. These questions that I ask, they're just strictly out of love and concern. And I don't want you to think that there's anything else in that. Would you be willing to go and, and, and talk to somebody? Yeah. Is he gonna say yes? Is he gonna say no? Let's find out. Okay. I've seen a psychologist. He said neither. He said, okay. And I think that was the end of the discussion. Before, and about the only thing he said to me is, well, you're not hurting anybody, so why worry about it? I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, and I'm gonna continue to love balloons because that's what makes me happy. Julius, I'm happy for you. He's not hurting anybody, technically. No, yeah, he's not hurting anybody, technically. So, I get that. It's okay. Still don't like it, though. Still don't like balloons. This video did not help with that at all, especially that pop that was uncalled for. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like videos like this, if you like this video at all, if you like me, you know, like the video, that'd be really cool. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that little notification bell so you know when my next video is out. But yeah, if you guys like these TLC uh, reaction videos or any other reaction videos or any videos in general, I do read the comments and I love hearing your guys' suggestions. So put them into comments below and I will read them. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I forgot to say, you're looking good. You're looking good. You've been going to the gym? No? You still look good. That's fine. All right. I hope you have a great day. Stay beautiful. Bye.